Mike here was the first one to encounter the two hikers, the guy, uh, the guy and the girl. The red flags kind of went up on him. They was just like a, a square peg going into a round hole. They didn't fit. He might have been an outdoorsman in California, but he was not an outdoorsman in Idaho, and he didn't fit. Went into the house, and the news flashed on. And the Amber Alert was on the television, and I told my wife, I said, that is that girl we seen on the mountain. But there was no phone number. So I talked to my wife, and I called Mike and Mary, and we said, look at the TV and see if that girl doesn't uh, look exactly like what we've seen on the mountain. They kind of confirmed that. And then I called a, uh, a friend of mine in the Idaho State Police, and then the next morning we heard on the news where they found the car exactly where we told them it would be. It makes me feel really great that uh, the girl was found and that she's safe. Uh, I'm very grateful for the Amber Alert program and how it played the role in the whole thing because without that, this would not have happened.